a rock god will be saying, it wasn't my fault. Honest. Oh, and Anna Nolan will be picking up the pieces backstage. Now, earlier, I did actually promise you guys a rock god. So, as promised, from top rock band Rachel Stamp, please welcome Robin Guy. <laughs> You look so smart. I feel I feel totally honoured. You yeah. in your suit. Well, it's, it's my uh, weddings, funerals, and uh, you know. <laughs> and TV programmes. Yeah, that's the one. So you're on here because um, of an incident that happened possibly in in before now. One of the high points of your career because it was your first appearance on Top of the Pops. That's it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And it was in it was in 1997. You're a uh -huh. session musician, and you were asked to cover for one of your favourite bands, were they not? What actually happened is uh, I was uh, trying to find get myself in a band, and I managed to uh, meet up with this person who said, "Well, you know, I might be able to you know have a look around for you." And I said, "Well, I'll do anything." A couple of months passed, nothing happened, and then suddenly a phone went, and they said. Uh, I might have got you something wild, and they said it's Top of the Pops. I said, yeah, that sounds good. Thinking it would be with, uh, you know, some dodgy dance band. And they said, it's Faith No More, do you want to do it? And I was just like silent, thinking... This is a joke. Y yeah, well, I Someone's just, having me on. I just said, OK. <laughs> <laughs> you know, came in. Trying to be really cool and nonchalant on the phone. Exactly, yeah. And, um, so what had happened to their drummer? Well, I think his wife was having a baby. Right. And, uh, and they thought they'd... Uh, take the mickey out of him kind of thing to get some some fool to uh, bash away on the kit when he did Top of the Pops and uh, I ended up that fool. And so what did they do to you to they try had, and do <laughs> They had a puffy mask, which puffy's the name of the drummer and uh, they had this <laughs> mask with the t two eyes here and it pushed up against my nose. I couldn't see anything and I was saying, but I can't play properly and they're like, we don't care, we just want some idiot at the back to wait their sticks. And I was like, no, no, this is my, this is, I'm doing Top of the Pops, so I have to do it well. I've called my granny, I've called my mum, everybody's told, yeah. coming round to watch. I've told my boys, you know. So anyway, the Spice Girls were presenting it and so they were presenting it over there and they said, Faith, no more, and the camera came over, the riff starts and I put the mask on thinking, okay, here we go, see you at the end. And, um, and the second riff kicks in and a mask just fell on my snare drum. And that actually wasn't you trying to make it no, fall off, it genuinely up. just fell off. This is, uh, you know, this is the truth. Because it was very badly made. It was a little piece of elastic and a tiny little knot. Oh. And so the knot just popped off, boom, it goes down. By the third riff, where the drums are kicking in, I've got this war. Half of me is saying, quick, fix it real quick, you've got to do it, otherwise they'll kill you. Because the band were adamant that you wore this mask, yeah, weren't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah, they were like, what, they actually threatened me. They said, look, because I was like, come on, guys, we've been getting on so well so far, you know, having a couple of drinks, sharing sandwiches. And I was like, we're... we're. I was like, You're in! I was in, I was in. I was, I was like, you know, we're mates now, aren't we? We're cool with this. And I was like, no, you wear this mask, you know, and I was like, oh, OK. And anyway, so... Half of me saying, fix it, fix it, they'll kill me, they'll, you know. The other half's going, screw them, get it off, you know. And uh, so I just whisked the mark off, carried on rocking, thinking it'll all be fine. And then the singer, Mike Patton, he's got this little beaker, plastic beaker of champagne, and he's singing away, and he turns around, and he just puts it down, he sees me, and he goes... <laughs> he threw me the middle he finger. He gave you that rude gesture. And so I'm, I'm, like, trying to explain to him while I'm playing, like, the, the mask fell off, and... Uh, and, and that's showbiz and carry that. <laughs> and we rock out. We finish the song. So I'm thinking, OK. So we get ushered into a corridor where then the producers are going to check out the film. And so that was the most agonising 15 minutes of my life up to that point. And uh, then a little runner came down and said, it's OK, you're free to go. And I mean, I was just like, yes. There is a god. Well, there is a, a rock god, yeah. A rock god. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> We went into the archives and we found this piece Excellent. of footage. Here it is. Blink and you'll miss it. Class, I like it. it. I like and what it. was really brilliant, can we just have a look at this? Because there was a letter as well to the Sun newspaper. Yeah. I was amazed to see the lead <laughs> singer of Faith No More raise his middle finger to the drummer on top of the pops. No wonder we teenagers have a bad name. Young people don't all behave like that. It's all true. <laughs> I love that. 
And that was because of you. You caused a yeah, furore. Yeah, yeah. But hilarious. shouldn't Mike Patton be on here apologising to you? I don't understand. I, I think so. I think he, you know, it's, it's a British institution, Top of the Pops. There should be no space for any kind of uh, obscene gestures, least of all to drummers. We get a bad enough but name But you as said it is. you wanted to come on and say sorry to them as well. Well, actually, I thought I'd just come on and say basically, like, we, you know, Honestly, guys. Well, we're quits. It wasn't my fault. It, don't make masks with cheap bits of string. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you want a mask to stick, make it properly. Make it good. Rest my case. It wasn't my fault. Well, thank you so much for coming on and uh, telling us your story. And we'll look forward to hearing from you at the end of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, Robin Guy! Yeah.